Welcome back to SNN TV. We are here with Mr. Youssef Azizi, Iranian political analyst based in the United States. Hello, sir. Hello, thank you for having me. Thank you so much. So, uh, regarding the recent diplomatic engagements, such as the visit of Oman Sultan and the outcomes of these summits, how do you assess the status of the Islamic Republic of Iran in the world and the region? And uh, do you think the Western pressures, pressures effectiveness, particularly regarding an issue like the JCPOA revival, is the same as before with the unveiling of Fatah hypersonic missile? So to address your question, I have to analyze the current situation through two different but interrelated level of analysis. Uh, these two uh, le level of analysis are international politics and regional politics. On the international level, we can see a shift in global uh, dynamics and global power from Western countries to Eastern countries, mostly Russia, uh, mostly a Asia and India. And uh, that means the years of US hegemony is gone uh, and the powers that like China, Russia, and India have their own independent voice in the international politics. Uh, so uh, my understanding is that Iran try to have better relation with these rising powers in the war uh, to uh, somehow bypass the United States um, um, uh, sanction against Iran. Uh, why the challenge between the United States and Russia, as well as the United States and China, persists and intensify? Iran has the opportunity to strategically, ben strategically benefit from these escalating disputes among global powers. Uh, we can see that Iran uh, nowadays uh, selling more than one million barrels per day of oil and petroleum uh, products to China. Iran also has a very uh, high quality. Uh, negotiation and relation with Russia over military aspects and space aspects. So by aligning itself with China and Russia, Iran can potentially bypass the U.S. sanction and given advantages, uh, the tension between these major place, players create opening for Iran to strengthen its ties with China and Russia, allowing for increased economic cooperation and support. Uh, that, that can help mitigate the uh, impacts of U.S. sanctions. So uh, on the regional level, all countries, especially the old allies of the United States, like Saudi Arabia and United Arab Emirates, uh, they understand that we are approaching to the multipolar uh, multi, uh, world and try to engage heavily with China, mostly on economic ties, and Russia, mostly on OPEC plus and energy market. So nowadays, and in decades to come, China is heavily dependent on oil, uh, importing oil and gas from Persian Gulf. And uh, because of that, the China has more to say in diplomatic negotiation, in economic development of the region, of the Persian Gulf and Middle East uh, region. Uh, and um, we know that the United States is also pivoting to China to contain China to East Asia. Um, all of together, if we're putting all together, we can find out that the regional power also understand the Iranian power as the most reliable and sustainable power in the region and wanted to work with Iran, with China, with Russia to secure the uh, stability in the region. And uh, they understand from the two decades ago that the United States started the war on terror, uh, that the United States actually is not engaging in, sus uh, in making a region sus more sustainable. Uh, we can see in Yemen, in Lebanon, in Syria, in Libya, in everywhere in the uh, region that when the United States started the war or started to interfere in their internal politics, all of these countries uh, ruin their uh, government, making their unstable and the people immigrated from those countries. Uh, so overall, uh, Iran has thought to leverage its regional influence and engage with world powers like Russia and China to mitigate the impact of Western pressure. Additionally, regional countries and important non-Western international players like India are now more inclined to give importance to economic and geopolitical interests over strict adherence to Western-led initiatives. As a result, the effectiveness of Western pressure in influencing Iran's behavior regarding the JCPOA have heavily diminished. Thank you. Uh, let's go to my next question, which you partially actually answered. But concerning the efficiency of Iran's neighborhood policies and the implications of membership in non-Western alliances and regional alliances, 
including the Shanghai Cooperation Organization and uh, the BRICS group. Uh, do you think that these organiza organizations, as well as multilateralism, have been effective for Iran so far with respect to the unveiling of the first hypersonic, first homegrown hypersonic missile of Iran? So, uh, to getting the benefit from these uh, non-Western-led um, um, international organizations like BRICS and like Shanghai Cooperation Organization, uh, Iran needs also to do some major uh, shift and uh, improvement in its internal uh, domestic policy uh, because of many years uh, reliance on just selling oils and importing uh, oil and natural raw to the um, countries uh, around the world, Iran's domestic mismanagement and corruption is increasing. So uh, the Raisi administration uh, especially started a good um, uh, work on uh, completely change the internal dom domestic politics of, uh, of Iran, uh, that, that these um, foreign relation and the new foreign relation, new advancement in regional and international uh, relation that Iran already uh, took place could get the benefits and coming back to the Iran. Uh, but on the hypersonic um, uh, missile capability, it is, it is very important to understand that um, as long as United States and uh, Israel keep threatening Iran with attacks and said, okay, every option is on the, uh, on the table, um, Iran feels to need to keep improving its missile, drone, and space technologies. And uh, we have to remember that Iran's foreign policy and military actions are mainly focused on defending themselves and not attacking other countries until, unless there is a uh, direct uh, uh, an immediate threat from the part of the region or outside the region. So uh, the, the work of these hypersonic missiles is just for deterrence. It's, it's, a, it's get the more leverage for Iran to have a deterrence and, and it also gives Iran more part to uh, have better relations with the regional countries to, you know, make a regional security without the uh, world powers outside the region to interfere in that. So all of together, uh, if Iran could handle the mismanagement and corruption internally and could change all of these and also broaden its regional and its international uh, cooperation, uh, I would make sure that in the next few years, uh, all of these benefits come back to the Iranian people. Thank you so much, Mr. Azizi, for joining us, and thank you for watching SNN TV. Stay tuned.